So all quick decline projects are actually uh, nothing more than um, SQLite databases. So you can connect to them in many different ways, whether it's an ODBC driver or business analytics tool like Tableau or Spotfire. Uh, you can use many different ways of, of getting to your data and seeing your data. Um, when it comes to managing projects and doing crazy scenarios and what ifs and things like that, uh, just like in Aries, sometimes it's just better to use, uh, use the database tool, whether it's Access or, or SQL Server or whatever. But in this case, for Quick Decline, um, you can download an open source piece of software called SQLite Studio. It's very good, and when I've used Quick Decline for my, for you know, uh, consultant jobs. Um, I've found that uh, this can pretty much do all the little things that you just can't really do inside the application itself. So to get started, uh, you need to add a database, and the database in question uh, is uh, the Quick Decline files. So I'm just going to select all files. I'm going to navigate to my demo folder, and uh, here's the Quick Decline project that I'm interested in. I'm just going to open it. I'm going to execute the database, and you can see here's all the tables. Um, if I click on the, the well table, uh, we'll see all the well's names and their API numbers and everything about them. If you wanted to come in here and change stuff, like let's say you had an Excel sheet that had all the sand and fluid of all the wells and you just felt like typing them in here, you can copy and paste them into here uh, just fine. And it, um, next time you open up your Quick Decline project, it'll be in there. Um, more interestingly are the, uh, is the economic section. If I open the economic table, you're going to see all the different wells and all the different cases for those wells and all the different runs. Uh, so you're going to see things like the actual forecast curve, the B factors, the decline rates. Um, then you're going to see the economic parameters. Then you're going to see uh, the uh, kind of the yardsticks, MPVs, discounted payouts, discount table, uh, e the EURs, um, basically everything. So you can see that we've uh, we've worked each of these wells. They all have a default case, and um, instead of so let's say we want to. Um, so in batch mode, we could run batch mode on all these wells uh, with their default case, but what if we wanted to do a batch mode run with a, a strip deck or a first reserve deck or something like that? Instead of going into quick decline and working each one individually, um, I can kind of cheat a little bit and um, simply use Excel like this, copy, go to Excel, Jump them in. Um, you get my row one thirteen. So we're gonna go fourteen, fifteen. And then I'm gonna copy them. I need thirteen rows. So let me add thirteen more rows. And I'm just simply gonna dump them in here. And in this case, instead of being the default case, let's do um, let's do the strip deck. And to do this, well, instead of doing the strip deck because it looks like all these were the strip deck, let's do um, bank deck. So I'm just going to copy that, come back to SQLite Studio, come over to the prices, and dump in the bank deck. So that quickly we have worked all the wells with multiple scenarios. And if your company has a, a better editor, better tool that does SQLite, um, feel free to use it. I mean, it's just going to make your life easier. Update queries and things like that.